Okay, so we have the three guides of the light that are coming through. And for those of you that aren't too familiar with that, I've been channeling the three guides of the light since about February. And uh, they started coming through. They reside in about the ninth dimension and I believe higher. And they are high vibrational beings of light. They don't necessarily need to have a physical body, but they showed themselves to me as a physical outline of, of density, like a dense body, um, so that I would understand who they are, but they really are light. And they're of a very high consciousness, very beautiful, uh, often very much to the point, but also funny. And so that's who's coming through right now. And they have really kind of had this up-to-date knowledge of what's going on in the cosmos, on the planet, for us spiritually, as we've been moving through this absolutely transformative year. And so that's who's coming forward right now. And um, what they're wanting to start off with saying is, for each and every one of you, there's absolutely no mistake that each and every one of you are here at this time on this planet in a body for a reason. Sometimes that sounds very cliche in our terms, but it is inherently absolutely true. All of us, they're saying, have been prepared for this time in some form. You may notice your preparation has been in the last several years. It has been tough challenges one after another to get you to a place to be able to move through 2020 in the way in which you have, to be able to move through with a sense of consciousness be able to move through with a sense of understanding even if it was an understanding within the spiritual mind and not so much the human mind the human mind and ego has been a big challenge and a big hurdle to transcend not to overcome but to work with the human ego is one of our greatest assets when we know how to use it it is like an animal and a pet or a dog a dog can be a beautiful companion that enhances your life if you train it well, just as it can run amok if you don't. And so the guidance is to remember that your ego sits in the passenger seat of your journey. It is there to alert you of things, but it is always up to you within your mind and your own consciousness to choose that which aligns. The things that align for you will always be shown and always be felt with a steadiness they will align with your integrity they will align with the heartbeat within this is how you know you are in alignment it will flow to you when it doesn't flow to you something is out of alignment and at that point it is important to surrender to drop the reins and look around and see what needs to be adjusted Life on this planet is a matter of adjustments, constant adjustments, as the ripples change by the creations of every single person's creation can change a ripple and how it affects you, when it hits you, how it alters your course, which is why your greatest gift is choice. And following choice comes alignment. All of those pieces are yours to do with as you please. Remembering that. You are inherently here at this time, very much divinely. Now they want to talk about what's happening in this age specifically. As we move into this beautiful age of Aquarius, it is an age of consciousness. If there is but one way to explain it, it would be an age of consciousness. This is an exciting time because we get to move from being in a sense of a robotic sense of self into a sense of heart-based sense of self. It's like the Tin Man in your movies who gets a heartbeat. We're moving into this time of the heartbeat, of choices being made from the heart for the greatest good of all. It doesn't mean everybody will transcend at the same moment, but what it means is the ball is rolling. Just as you see avalanches on your mountains, they begin to pick up speed with a single crack. They begin and they pick up speed as they continue down the mountain. This crack has now happened and it will continue to pick up speed. 
This is why we've been talking about this four-year term of awakening. An awakening equal to 100 years of time within four years. You have just completed year one. The crack. Now it gets to pick up speed. This is an exciting time for us in spirit because in order to create the crack, we needed to have enough people willing to consciously choose to raise their consciousness. That is what you have done. Celebrate that. Celebrate who you are. You bridge the ages. You're here to create a whole new energetic frequency that comes from you through your children through those that you are connected to, through the many generations that are to come, come from the energies that you create now and you are creating in the highest light. Even times in which you feel you fumble or make mistakes, when you consciously choose to write them, you create a grand ripple. This is the birthing of a new age. At this same time, we also have to remember As we move into consciousness, there are those that choose not to come on this journey. Some will choose to divert to somewhere else to continue learning in a third dimensional consciousness. They will continue to learn lessons in the same form, and that is okay. But you are choosing to step up into a fifth dimensional consciousness, one of the heart, as we said. As those that choose to stay in 3D, some may choose to depart this planet as we have seen in this year. No great changeover of years comes without great exits. So there will be more. At the same time, this is making way for beautiful new entries of higher evolved souls capable of holding a higher frequency that can equal many of your frequencies now. This will pick up speed over the next three years of your time. There are many portals that have opened throughout this year. And these portals have allowed energy to come in, have allowed light codes to come in. And these light codes activate dormant knowledge within each of you in some form. The knowledge may be conscious. The knowledge may simply be energetic. You may not simply recognize it in form or thought, but it's there. As you say, you vibe differently. This we love very much. The portals have also opened up opportunities for many exits, as we've said, many entries, and many changes. We have even altered the changes within the animals on your planet in connection to the light grid. And the light grid is the grid of energy that surrounds your entire planet with consciousness. The animals around you are finely tuned into this consciousness. This we have talked about. So you may notice your pets or the animals that you see in the wild seem to have a different consciousness, a different interest in who you are as a being. You will always see it in their eyes. Notice these changes as you notice this new earth and this new change around you. It is here. It cracked. This is what we were hoping for. Now, as we move forward in these new energies, we recommend you constantly come back to, as we said, choice and alignment. Continue to realign as with every new road, there are bumps along the way, which there will be. But your alignment can come back to love always. Love of self, love of others, love of the greater collective. You do not need to wear the cloak of fear. That is the old paradigm of 3D. You can allow a sensation of fear to alert you to something, but then recognize it is simply to alert you to a realignment. This again comes back to your control to realign. Your choice, therefore no fear. This we've worked really hard to help bring this consciousness to the planet. There's no longer a planet of darkness. In many ways, it is a planet of light. 
There has been much light already, but the amount that is now is exponential. It grows exponentially every day from this moment forward. Remember, you are here at this time for divine reason 